Hello my dear family members, I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming Accenture exam. I got to know many of you have exams in the upcoming Thursday. So I plan to upload a previous year coding questions that was asked in Accenture on campus drive 2022. So let's see what is the question. So the question is regarding balancing of fruits, right? Implement the following function in this. You have a basket full of apples and mangoes. Your job is to make the number of apples and given a function that accepts three integers a, m and r s as its argument where a and m are number of apple and number of mangoes in the basket respect respectively and r s is the rupees that you have. Implement the function to balance the basket. If a greater than m then buy a minus m mangoes at the rate of press 1 per mango. If a less than m, then sell m minus a mangoes at the rate of press 1 per mango. Return the total rupees left with you after balancing the fruits. So these are the assumptions and constraints. Follow that. And example here, that is if the number of apples is 8, number of m, I mean mangoes are 4 and you have 6 rupees, then output will be 2. How output is? Actually, the rupees left with you is 2, right? Okay, the actually the number of apples in this case is greater. So, if a greater than m, then we have to buy a minus m mangoes. So, 8 minus m, I mean 8 minus 4 mangoes. So, we have to buy 4 mangoes with raise 1 per mango. So, uh, we have to expand 4 rupees, right? So, if we expand 4 rupees, then how much we will have will leave? Actually, 6 minus 4 rupees we will have, right? So that means 2 rupees in our pocket. So that means 2 rupees, right? So the output is 2. In the second case as well, you can see that, that 7 is greater than 4. So 7 minus 4 is 3 and 6 minus 3 is 3, right? So that's why the output is 3. Okay, let's go to solve the question. Before I write the code, I would request you to please watch the playlist regarding Accenture on campus coding. And please subscribe this channel to get latest on campus coding, right? Okay, let's go to the solution. I am not taking the function. You implement that by this logic, right? What I am writing. At first, let's take the input a m and r s is equal to map in and input split, right? Okay, now just check if a greater than m if this then print rs minus a minus m right elif a is equal to is equal to m if this then print the rs itself right else i mean if a less than m right so in this case we will print rs plus m minus a right so let's print I hope this is okay. Just check if the output is right or wrong. So 8, 4, 6 for this 2 will be up output. And for 7, 4, 6, 3 will be output, right? Okay, just only writing these 4, 5 lines of code, you can achieve the goal, right? So this was very simple code. That's why I don't think I have to explain further. Okay, if, if you face still any problem, then let me know. I will explain in the comment section, right? Okay, now before I end the session, I would request you to please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding Accenture on-campus coding questions. The link will be given in the description box. Okay, thank you for today's session.